Laura, we heard something today about the changing relationships between banks and ship owners and operators. How can communications between the two sectors be improved, would you say? I think we need to understand each other's requirements, are each other's aspirations and um, concerns. You know, customers uh, in the marine industry uh, tell me uh, about the opportunities. They're strategic to the upstream industry. They're strategic to the downstream industry. They're strategic to the global logistics industry. And these uh, global sectors will go on and the businesses are underpinned by high quality cash flows. The question that uh, vessel owners must face is educating and communicating with banks about the, the, the credit quality and the robustness of their cash flows under very difficult market conditions. Okay. Well, you've been to this event before. How does the quality of the presentations you've heard compare with the previous years? Certainly, I, uh, from a banker's point of view, I sense that there's a much greater sensitivity to uh, the key points that w we also see are vital to supporting this sector. We need to have diversity of funding sources for our customers because banks cannot absorb all the downside of these market cycles. So we need to build partnerships with new sources of equity finance. We need to build partnerships with other banks that could spread the risk and burden of financing the important uh, capital investments that must be made into the sector. But also, we need to educate each other um, about the new regulations. The banking regulations, IFRS 9 and Basel 3, requiring banks to hold more regulatory capital, especially when there are any uh, payment delays on the side, uh, on the part of customers. And also, the marine industry is facing new regulation with respect to ballast water treatment, with respect to uh, uh, sulfur levers, levels in fuel. These are all very important uh, cost drivers that uh, both banks and owners must communicate with each other about and find solutions to make these businesses sustainable. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>